Congrats! You made it to the final principle of ethical practice in community-engaged learning, research, and service. Thanks for sticking around. We'll dive right into the final principle, what it looks like in application, and wrap up with a few examples of questions that you can ask yourself to make sure you're executing the principle properly. The fifth principle of ethical volunteering is commitment to collaborative critical thinking and inquiry. Ultimately, this principle is all about asking questions, learning, and working together in your service context efficiently. Within this commitment, there are three main priorities to consider. The first is reflecting carefully on the values and intentions of the space that you're working in. For example, a clothing distribution should be executed differently in a facility that serves low-income residents than it might be in a facility that serves those impacted by a natural disaster. The context of a service space can entirely change what's at stake for those you're working with. Next, collaborative critical thinking requires careful and open project design and implementation. It is important to think critically about the intended outcomes of your service, as well as how any developments in your project may change the outcomes. Community engagement is dynamic and ever-changing, so it is important to continually reflect on your service and impact, as this can change from one day to another. Community engagement often changes course, so being responsive and respectful to feedback and critique in real time is incredibly important to ensure that you are honoring the original intent of your actions and more importantly, the needs of the community. Finally, the last priority to consider is the consequences of your service. When participating in civic engagement, the members of the community you engage with experiencing the lasting impact of your actions long after you exit it. We have to ask ourselves, what am I leaving this community or organization with? Is anyone around to carry on the work I started here after I've left? We have to be prepared to deal with impacts we didn't plan for, even those that may go against our intentions. That means taking accountability for our mistakes, keeping in touch with those we worked with, and working to prevent any harm done in the future. Engaging in collaborative thinking and inquiry means taking a step back from our work and asking, is this as helpful as it can be? Despite having the right intentions at heart, intentions are not enough when the outcomes of our efforts have unintended negative impacts. The best way to exercise this principle is, as we mentioned earlier, asking questions. For example, in a community engagement setting, you should ask yourself, what's the ultimate goal of our work? Am I helping achieve this primary goal? What impact, intended and unintended, am I and my student organization having? Although these are seemingly straightforward questions, they're not always easy questions to answer. The day-to-day -day chaos of our busy lives can obscure our understanding of the impact that we're having and the role we're playing in the community. Don't beat yourself up if you cannot quickly answer these questions. The world is complicated, and your answers probably will be too. Totally. I, personally, could foresee myself struggling to answer these questions. Noah, do you think it would be appropriate to reach out to a community partner to help answer them? Of course. Remember that in order to build a sound relationship with our partners, it's important to listen to their feedback. Who better would understand your impact than those who are being impacted? No one is born knowing everything. Asking for help to understand your impact is natural and honestly super helpful. It gives you the opportunity to grow as a partner and leader and build trust with the communities you engage with. I see. To answer these questions, it is important to utilize the principle of collaborative inquiry and directly ask your community partners to think critically with you about your procedures and impact without burdening them, of course. This will help you identify any unseen barriers and characteristics of the community you may not be fully honoring. Community engagement is an iterative process. As you work with a community partner or organization, you learn more about the values and practices that you, eat, that you each hold as important, and how you can bring these together to have the greatest positive impact. The fifth principle, collaborative and critical thinking and inquiry, just means that you should be honest and reflective about your role in the community and the impact that you may have. It urges you to learn from both your failures and successes and pushes you to grow as an individual alongside your community partner. Anyways, thank you for watching and committing to be an ethically minded volunteer leader.